top 10 comedy shows. So all of us uh, this week, we compiled our list and uh, we don't know what each other wrote. This was hard because when I think about it, there's a few that I would say rise to the top of like the top three to five. But then lower on the list, there's some, there's so many good comedy shows that I, I feel like bad about excluding some. And I feel like, you know, mine is a little, I, I just felt like I was falling into the ones that everybody expects. Mm -hmm. But there are so many that are the top, like that just you can't ignore in a yeah. top 10 list. All right. Mine at number 10, I have The Office. Okay. And for me, that's the American version. I don't want to piss people off. I just have never watched the British version. I've heard I the debate, it. but yeah, I, I, I like the American version. I need to give the British one a chance. So this is going to be controversial, but my number 10 is The Big Bang Theory. And I wish I, I might walk out. Yeah. This is like, the, yeah. This is like when people like Zoolander. There was like a Reddit post that went around like, oh, The Big Bang Theory is blackface for nerds. And you're I mean, like, I don't think it's, it's that. not blackface I just think for it's nerds. Not funny. Like, there's the references yeah, are well like done. Kind of and if you like pop culture and nerd stuff, it's lame. It's fine. My number ten is Modern Family. Oh, I've heard Modern Family is good. I just never watched it. It's much. good, but it went on about fifteen mm. seasons too long. Oh, okay. Kind of like the so. Big Bang Theory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at number nine, I have Monty Python's Flying Circus. Yeah, oh, excellent. My number nine is Parks and Rec which is an inferior version of The Office. And you kind of have to discard season one and seven, so I don't know how that makes it onto a top ten list. But So my number nine is The Simpsons. Excellent choice. Any Excellent. particular season? Mm, or seasons? I don't know. I think it's like episode by episode, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, there's some good some, some Sometimes it's like okay, and sometimes it's really awesome. Great. At number eight, wait, no, yeah, ten, nine, eight, I have uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, excellent. My number eight is Monty Python's Flying Circus. I liked this show so much that I wrote a play where we stitched together all the sketches and did it in high school. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure it was terrible. I, I've got a picture of it somewhere. I'll find it for you guys. But uh, Mine is Rick and Morty. Hmm. I just started watching that, and it's weird. At number seven, I have The Late Show with David Letterman. Oh, yeah. It's still one of my favorite I didn't favorite consider Late Night, night shows. I, didn't, I was thinking about SNL. See, there's a few that dominate my list. I, I have a few from that genre. My number seven is The Simpsons. Uh, I wasn't allowed to watch it as a kid. I recently started watching it, and I got through like season 12, 13. It, you could definitely see a drop off in quality, but like you said, there's mm, still standout back. episodes. Um, mine is, what are we at? Seven is Patriot. It's an Amazon TV show that's a dark a comedy. comedy. Oh, it is a comedy. It, I would say it's a... I've seen like the, the you know... Interesting. I think it's a dark comedy. Uh, at number six on my list, I have your last choice, The Simpsons. I think The Simpsons is one oh, of the nice. best comedies of all what time. My number six is King of the Hill, another uh, cartoon for adults. I like that they parody Texas, but they make the characters lovable. And so mine is It's Always Sunny. Yeah. I've I was allowed to it. watch that's Simpsons. That's a controversial choice for me, like... I Big never got into it. I've never gotten into It's Always Sunny. Uh, at number five, I have Futurama. I think Futurama is one of the best written comedy cartoon shows. Would like you now. say it's better than Big Bang Theory, or is that higher up on your list? <laughs> no. Uh, my number five is I Love Lucy. Mm. Of the classic, like, black mm -hmm. and white ones, that one just has the most cultural impact, and it, it still makes me laugh. Mine is Wayne, another Amazon TV show that might be canceled. Um, but it's written by... Oh, a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Amazon, like, gives up on things or, like, they get yeah, to season right. two and then they ruin it. It's hungry for content and then it's like... It's like, no, you should have invested in it. It's the same writers from Deadpool. Uh, at number four, I'm biased, but I put Late Night with Conan O'Brien. He was good. He was always my favorite Late Night guy. I, I think, yeah, when I grew up, that was the, like, cool show to watch. My number four is Curb Your Enthusiasm. Nice. We talked about it already, but... Mine's New Girl. I've never watched New Girl. I feel like you could watch it and don't watch the last season. Mm. Uh, number three, I have The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. I think, you know, I, I have a big affinity for late night shows in general, and that's the one I think that kind of set the standard of what late night is supposed to be. My number three is uh, Frasier. Mm. I've never enjoyed, I've never really gotten into Cheers. My wife really likes Cheers. I just watched Frasier and absolutely loved it. So my third one is Scrubs. Scrubs made my honorable mention. Scrubs is fantastic. Yeah. Number two on my list, Saturday Night Live. I almost I put it on and then I thought, well, the uneven quality and I'm like, I don't know. I mean, maybe I could put a certain set of years or... it's It definitely has ups and downs in its season and there's certain casts that really shine and others that are weaker. But I think just in terms of the history of comedy... In terms of the years that it's been on the air, the sketches that have just become iconic and the characters, I think SNL, number two funniest show of all time. Great. Uh, my number two is The Office. Mm. 
and I, I actually my, I'm probably weird in that I like the first season the best. I mean, it's the very first season's dry, great. The ver, for very dry. Yeah. Because like, I know some people say, oh, it doesn't pick up. And this is the American movie. version American also that version. you watch, right? My second choice is also The Office. Hey. Yeah. I, but I don't think I enjoyed the first season the best. All right. Here it is. Number one for me, South Park. I think oh, South Park's the funniest wow. show of all time. I, it, I feel like South Park was such a, I don't know, influence on me. Throughout all the culture wars, South Park has been one of the most centrist and sort right, of, make fun of open to going after the left, even before it became sort of popular. They were against a lot of the woke culture, and they never leaned too hard into being conservative, right. necessarily. Well, my number one is Seinfeld, which... Uh, Solid choice. I just can't... I can't watch an episode of Seinfeld. I can't see it on the TV without sitting down and, and oh, yeah. watching how, how, it, how it plays <laughs> out. I love it. I love how... Jerry is a terrible actor and mm -hmm. <laughs> laughs at himself the entire yeah. time. You know, it's like some of the SNL actors who were like bad at, at like constantly laughing yeah. at themselves. I, I just, <laughs> I love that he doesn't take it seriously. Um, and I love that there's absolutely no sincerity or heartwarming moments mm -hmm. in the whole show. You would like it. Yeah. Well, my number one is also Seinfeld. Hey, all right. Yeah. Nice. Uh, for probably the same reasons. I also like grew up watching it with my dad mm. and then skipping some of the episodes oh, yeah. or like, but um, yeah, I think it's iconic. I respect what Seinfeld is. I think it belongs on a list. I just, I felt always that Curb Your Enthusiasm surpassed Seinfeld mm. in terms of the humor, in terms of like just laugh for laugh. I always liked Seinfeld, but I, it just never, it, it, it never quite, hooked me. Yeah, quite connected. Yeah. Gotcha. Hey you, are you enjoying these videos? Then I have a loose suggestion for you. Why don't you like it? Comment and hit the subscribe button. In fact, even if you didn't like this video, I strongly suggest that you do it. It's not a threat. I'm not pressuring you. You just have to do it. <laughs>